One out of every two men and one out of every three women will be diagnosed with cancer. Radiation from the Fukushima nuclear meltdown in Japan has crossed the ocean and has landed close to North America. The gift from Japan that keeps on giving. In the rural and fertile Yakima Valley in Washington State, a horrible medical mystery has unfolded. An alarming number of babies born with birth defects. Sarah Barron, a nurse in the region, was the first to report cases of anencephaly, babies born with much of their brain and skull missing. I was just Japan's Fukushima nuclear plant has now reached the waters off North America's west coast. That's the word from the scientists. Two giant questions. That meeting is going on right now. The superintendent filling questions from hundreds of parents who have jammed into the auditorium here. Uh, they are not allowing cameras in there because they, want to, they say they want to have as open a dialogue as possible. One parent, though, standing up in front of this crowd saying that her kids, she has two kids there, and they are terrified to be at this school, why even afraid to drink the water at the school. You had kids coming up asking why they didn't know uh, more about this earlier. All of this started when 20 teachers put their names to a letter expressing concern about those exact conditions. They're not entirely sure where it is coming from or what might be in the soil or the air here, but what... Radiation from the Fukushima nuclear meltdown in Japan has crossed the ocean and has landed close to North America. The gift from Japan that keeps on giving. Radiation from Japan's Fukushima nuclear plant has now reached the waters off North America's west coast. That's the word from the scientists. So far, it's affecting only Canada and scientists say right now the levels are below the safety limit for drinking water. Researchers say they expect to start detecting low levels of radiation along the U.S. Pacific coast starting in April. Back in 2011, a deadly earthquake followed by a devastating tsunami killed more than 15,000 people and caused the Fukushima power plant's nuclear reactor to melt down. And we stood in Tokyo as they said, there is no meltdown. This is not happening as steam rose from the place. They allowed workers to continue. They allowed residents to stay and said, no, there is no nuclear meltdown. It's okay. It's now reached the shores of North America. What a fantastical, incredible lie that we knew at the time we were getting and simply could not prove.